Peggy Wallace Kennedy, thank you for bearing witness to the truth. Juanita Abernathy was truly one of a kind. She was born and reared in my native state of Alabama. She received a great and good education. But for more than 20 years, she would go back to Alabama and walk across that bridge with members of Congress, with President, and with Peggy, Peggy Kennedy. I love Juanita Abernathy. I love the woman. She was so kind and so wonderful. When we were beaten and left bloody, on the streets of Montgomery during the Freedom Rides in May of 1961, when I had all of my hair, 21 years old, <laughs> your father and mother took us in. When we didn't have a place to hold a press conference, we had one. You know, was so, so young. Probably not even born, some of you. And I would never forget being in that press conference with Martin Luther King Jr., your father, Ralph Abernathy, James Former Accord. And years later, Mrs. Abernathy said to me, John, you know, we didn't have a dining table at the time. So we use a folding table for you all to sit behind. But it was a wonderful press conference. And over the years, she would remind me that we could not give up, that we could not give in. We have to keep the faith and keep our eyes on the prize. She kept saying, we got to fight. We got to stand up. We got to speak up. And from time, she would say, John, are you getting in trouble? And it gave me a line that I use from time to time. We must get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. And Juanita Abernathy had the ability and the capacity to encourage other people to get in good trouble. <laughs> and she did get in trouble. She would come to Selma go back to Montgomery. She would come to Washington, and she would say, what are you all doing? Stand up, speak up, do something. Get in the way. And some of us have been inspired by her to get in the way. You know, since I've been in Congress, I've been arrested a few times. During the 60s, I was arrested 40 times. And since I've been in Congress another five times. Because sometimes I can hear Juanita Abernathy saying, John, it's not right for a great country such as ours to take little children, little babies from their mothers and their fathers and put them in cages. She would say it. And she would say, John, we got to get more people registered. They got to go out and vote like we never voted before. Yeah, she was a friend to Rosa Parks, to Joanne Robinson, and all the other women of the Montgomery Bus Boycott. When I met her and Dr. Ralph Abernathy, and later Martin Luther King Jr., Coretta Scott King, it became like an extended family of mine. I wrote a letter to Dr. King. I wanted to attend Troy State College, 10 miles from my home. I never heard a word from the college, so Dr. King wrote me back and sent me a round trip Greyhound bus ticket and invited me to come to Montgomery to meet with him. 
And the meeting was held in First Baptist Church. And I walked in and I saw Martin Luther King Jr. and Ralph Abernathy sitting behind a desk. And Dr. King said, are you the boy from Troy? Are you John Lewis? And I said, Dr. King, I am John Robert Lewis. I gave my whole name. You still call me the boy from Troy. <laughs> We had been at, years later, we were at your father's church. And there was an attempt to bomb the church. And people had sprayed paint and threw stink bombs all around. But Dr. King and Reverend Abernathy suggested that we go to a home in Montgomery. And the military people came and took us to a home, Dr. Harris, the Tuskegee Airmen, pharmacist, you all are too young, but your brother been there, Mrs. Abernathy, so, so many times. We stayed there, and Mrs. Abernathy and the other women brought food for us to eat until we left to go to Mississippi. Hand been for your mother, for your father. I don't know what would have happened to some of us. So I just want to say, Mrs. Abernathy, thank you, my sister. Thank you. And I tell you, you look so good in your red today. You look just asleep. You look so good, so good. I don't know what America would be like. I don't know what our native South would be like. <clears throat> Handling for Reverend Abernathy, Mrs. Abernathy, Rosa Park, Dr. King, and Mrs. King. So never, ever forget the distance we've come, the progress we've made, and the people helped get us here. Sleep on, Mrs. Abernathy. Take your rest. People waiting for you on the other side. Thank you, and may God bless you. We'll see you in the morning.